Today we're taking it right back to the basics with some simple scales warm-ups. Hello, my name is Amy Naylor, thank you for joining me today. Um, so before we begin with this one, it's really important that we make sure our notes are all in the right place. So we want our lowest note to be the note in front of us. So when you start playing your scale... the lowest note that you're going to hit first. So just have a little explore of your hand pan if you're a complete beginner, if you haven't played much before, just to kind of get an ear for it, really listen in. You might have the same scale as me, you might not, um, but yeah. So it's the next note from your ding. lowest note. Make sure that is in front of you. Some people like to have their two lowest notes in front of them, kind of side by side, so you can play like this. I personally like to have just one note in front of me, and then the rest kind of split afterwards, uh, but that's entirely up to you. So, as usual, we're going to be taking a beat from my website, amynailermusic.com. The one we're listening to today is 95 BPM Cajon and Conga. And as we always do it, call and response, we're going to be counting um, on a count of eight. So I'll play eight notes, you'll play eight notes after me, keeping it nice and simple. There will be a few kind of uh, bonus rounds in this one, if you like, a few little challenging moments. But the purpose of this exercise is to warm ourselves up. So if you want to use this in your daily practice time and again, make sure you click like on the video so that you can come back to it. Um, and yeah, let's go for it. So again, when you're playing these scales, really aiming for that sweet spot in your note. Find the place in each note that rings the best. I find in my notes that the sweet spot is just on the ridge here as the dimple starts to go inward. That's where I get the most tone and the less of that tack sound. But it might be different on your pan. Just have a little play, have a little experiment, find it. Once you've got that, you can aim for that each time you hit a note. Again, we're not hitting it really hard, just letting our fingers bounce. Without further ado, let's play some scales together. Okay, so 95 BPM, Kahan and Conga. Let's go. My turn first, then your turn. Ready? One, two, my turn. Right, left, right, Back down. One and two and three 
playing with the fingers that are most comfortable for you. I know a lot of people teach uh, these are the specific fingers to use and a lot of people like to play that way and uh, to play with a particular technique but if you're just starting out, if you're playing for fun, if you're not too fussed, I feel personally that it, the most important thing is that your body is comfortable and your body is enjoying this too. So playing with the fingers that feel the most comfortable for you. For me when I play, I play with my middle fingers on the ding. Um, and my thumbs on the note closest to me and perhaps the, the two notes next to that as well simply because of the shape of my hands. If I place my hands flat like this yeah, my middle fingers are going to be closer to the ding and my thumbs are going to be closer to the, to the note next to me so it means that I can go between those notes with as little movement as possible rather than playing like this yeah, so it's just, I just have to twilt, twilt, twist or tilt my hand um, to reach that note so that's why I play with those fingers. I also play with my pointer fingers quite often as well and switch between the two so that they don't get tired. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you and uh, what feels the most comfortable. So I hope you enjoyed that warm up. Come back again um, to play this uh, every time you start your practice. Um, if you want to do something more advanced or if you want to practice a particular thing that we did in that exercise, what you can do is you can go to my website um, find a groove that works for you. You can use a faster tempo, you can play that faster or slower if you need to. Um, and then, yeah, in your own time, you can download that and you can just play along for as long as you like and do whatever you like with it. So that's yours to keep. And if you want to do some more practice with other people and play with other people, I offer online classes every Sunday, 7 pm UK time. You are invited to join us. Um, otherwise, I also offer one to one tuition, private tuition. Um, by the hour and yeah I'm available for that too so oh and I should also mention that if you want extra resources but you don't want to see me in real time and you'd rather do it in your own time you can also join my patreon community where there's lots of extra things on there little practice videos that you can join in with and copy uh, uh, worksheets from videos that I've uploaded to YouTube that kind of thing so head over there check the price tiers you can join for as little as one pound um, but that's entirely up to you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.